the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome again to this reflection of the third, sun, of the third Sunday of Advent. And so I will read you now from the Gospel according to St. John. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. A man named John was sent from God. He came for test testimony to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. And this is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, Who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, What are you then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, no. So they said to him, who are you? So that we can give an answer to those who sent us. What do you have to say for yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert. Make straight the way of the Lord, as Isaiah the prophet said. Some Pharisees were also sent. They asked him, why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ or Elijah or the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany across the Jordan where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, as we enter into this third Sunday of Advent, this third week of Advent, the theme of this week is joy, because this is called Gaudete Sunday, which means the Sunday of rejoicing. And I think one of the reasons the church um, lightens things up a little bit this week, because we wear the rose vestments and, 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 and we're able to put in a bit of a bit more flower arrangements and, and kind of beautify the space up a little bit is because already two weeks in, much like Lent, we, we feel a little heavy and things, especially in this season, seem a little darker. And so in the midst of this, of, of this liturgical season of Advent, the church gives us a moment of sort of being in the eye of the storm. But we also have to go back and, rec and look back upon what we have accomplished during this season of Advent. First and foremost, we recognize and give thanks and rejoice that we have been, been converted to the true faith. That this faith that Jesus has won for us is where all of the things that we can experience in the midst of God can come to full fruition. And so because we have this faith, we have this undefeatable hope. This undefeatable hope that is always expectant, is always looking for God around every corner. And then, and then we recognize that if we hope, our hearts need to be open. And so as we seek for an open heart, we seek for peace. We seek for wholeness. We seek for, like I said in the last, the last Sunday, that our wounds be healed and our brokenness be bound up. That we truly, we truly be open and receptive to the things of God. Because ultimately in this gospel today, this is what is happening to the people of Israel. They don't recognize John. They don't recognize our Lord. And John is the last of the prophets and he is the beginning of the new dispensation because he is pointing out to us our Lord and Savior Jesus who, not, who is not just is to come, but has come. And he has come to proclaim the kingdom of God for us. And oftentimes people might think that, well, God's come too soon. And so, you know what, I, I got to be afraid and I got to get my stuff together. It's like, no, God wants you to have your stuff together, together now. Because now is the good and honorable time. Now is the time for our salvation. We do, not, we do not fawn over it from the past and we do, not wait for, we do not wait for it to come to us in the future. We want God to come to us now. 
And because he has, he already has, we rejoice in that. We rejoice because he has won for us all of the sacraments, the sacrament of, our, of the source and summit of our faith, the sacrament of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, body, blood, soul, and divinity in the Eucharist, the sacrament of reconciliation, the sacrament of the holy oils of chrismation and healing, the sacrament of holy orders and matrimony. All of these sacraments are things that we should not be afraid of, but we should look forward to and rejoice in them because they are the presence of and, the, and they are the presence and the anointing of God that is to be placed on our, in our minds and in our hearts. And our hearts should leap with great joy that our sweet God has come so close to us and has left us such wonderful helps to receive his grace and to manifest and radiate it out to others. God bless you and God love you. And have a blessed third week of Advent. The Lord be with you. May, all, may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. 